In vitro fertilization is an amazing technique, but it's an expensive one. Tonight, a local physician is getting behind a piece of legislation that would help military families pay for the high price of happiness. Amy Anderson reports. <laughs> Can you tell he's the ham? So. Seven-month-old <laughs> twins Phil and Ella are priceless, yeah. but it was expensive for their mom and dad to get this precious gift. I tried for years and years. Brad and Christy McCubrey adopted a baby girl from Russia years ago, and Brad had two kids from a previous marriage. But when they got married, they decided to give IVF one try. It worked the first time. It was a miracle because I have fertility issues. And um, Brad had also had a vasectomy, so it was a big miracle. The McCoubries were lucky. They had the option of taking out a loan to help pay for the IVF, which for just one try sets couples back fourteen to fifteen thousand dollars. Dr. Dan Gelbach performed the procedure for the McCoubries. The former military man says he wants military families to have the option of financial help for IVF, similar to the adoption tax credit. The uh, Family Act of 2011 is a, is a proposed new form of legislation that would give a tax credit to couples that are going through some of the more advanced infertility treatments. Gelbach says after seeing so many couples successfully complete IVF, he wants more families to have the opportunity. Uh, it's the best part of my job. When they can see a heartbeat and hear it and they're just six weeks pregnant, you know, I, I, I'll never get tired of that. <laughs> the McCubrys yeah. say the joys they've experienced yeah. shouldn't just be limited to those who can afford the treatment. Especially a young couple in the military or even an older couple in the military, to be able to experience what we have is just would be tremendous. The experience has been wonderful for us. Yeah. <laughs> Amy Anderson, KCTV 5 News. <laughs> the bill was introduced in the House of Representatives last November. Representative Emanuel Cleaver was a co-sponsor.